Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive. This is going to be a quick read uh, for the full moon in Pisces, which is happening today as I record this on September 10th, uh, and then also the rest of the week from 910 to 916. Uh, this is going to be what your higher self wants you to know within this week and what's most important for you, all right? So let's take a look and see what uh, comes out for you. So what's your full moon energy uh, in this full moon in Pisces on September 10th uh, that is coming out for Capricorn, what does Capricorn need to know most? All right, let's take a look at what that is. What do we get? What's your message? Ooh, I like this. Guys, you got the high priestess. You got the high priestess energy, all right? Uh, I'm going to pull out. It's obviously saying to tap into that intuition, right? And the full moon in Pisces is all about, you know, tapping into that, right? It is all about that of which is hidden, right? So it's really bringing something to light. You're having a keen sense of perception in something, uh, especially with the high priestess energy coming through. And then what do we get? <gasps> Regarding something that had some sort of defeat for you here. You're getting a a more intuitive warning about something that of which caused some sort of loss or some sort of defeat. Uh, so I do get you tapping into your intuition here and using your highest self. Isn't this a beautiful card, guys? I just love it. I love it. So this is really tapping into that keen sense of perception for yourself, okay? And it really talks up to me about um, it was some sort of thing that came to an end. Could be, a, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here and I do feel that that with there has been something has come to fruition there is a, a sense of search for meaning and a a mind expansion um, that has something that's taken place because of this okay and it was put in your path it, now it's come to fruition so it is um, maybe there's been any sort of depression anxiety or despair maybe that is something that you are overcoming or maybe it was from a situation you know and so whatever the case may be you have a keen sense of perception about this and you're using your intuition in terms of guiding you in this process as well okay um, to really get this I really love this because you're looking at the mystery of the situation and you're tapping into the intuition you know of the situation as well um, now the ninth house has to do again with uh, your philosophy of life it's part of your journey okay it is part of your journey and for the for whatever has taken place for it to be there now let me go ahead and pull one more card give me a card in this nine of swords okay what do we get from that We've got the seven of wands. It has to do with some sort of partnership and relationship. Seventh house is all about that, all right? So it could be a marriage, a one-on-one -on -one connection. It could be your alliances and conflicts with others or any sort of legal matter. But this is all about, uh, 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 you know, the seven of wands is is really putting you in the position to, uh, you know, getting, um, persevering, I should say, not giving up not giving in, you continually, you know, continuously having faith uh, amidst any sort of competition or scenario that's coming into play. So this is about having faith about that. I love this for you guys. So let's take a look at uh, anything that the soul trees on the seven of wands of you to have faith and what's going to help you within this. Because this harvest moon for you is about harvesting uh, that of which you have already put the work into and seeing the results thereof and celebrating that. But then also course correcting about how you want to move forward with this new moon that comes into play, which is going to be in Virgo on September 25th. Uh, but uh, this is the mystery is coming to light. And I love this. So you might experience this, guys. Um, so for the Seven of Swords, what else do we get? It is only the beginning. It, there is a beginning here. Having faith of a brand new beginning, and this could be in a relationship or a situation, okay? So there is coming forth of a brand new beginning, right? With the harvest, then comes planting the seeds to sow for a brand new beginning. Now, some of you, it could be in a rooting oneself in matters of the heart because this green energy is planet Earth, you know, and you, you're you Earth sign, right? But it is also uh, has to do with home, right? And it is also, uh, it really focuses in on balance balance and harmony. That's what that green really focuses in on. Uh, you could be doing gardening of some sort, but green is also really good for the heart and um, also aids in relaxation. So that's going to be very key. Now you've got that, that bluish, you know, here that's coming through here. And that is all about, uh, 
I don't know. I, I really kind of feel that it is really about um, focusing in on, um, this is also having to do with blood pressure as well with the blue coming through here and the calming of the uh, autonomic uh, you know, nervous system. So, you know, for some of you that are going through some sort of, it's about a calming, like a sense of calming and peace that's coming through for you here. So this is about having faith to have that new beginning that's going to bring forth some sort of calming and peace to you. I'm, I'm excited for you guys because whatever it is, it was meant to be on your path. I am going to pull a card uh, from the Divine Energy Oracle. We'll see what wants to come out. What do we get for Capricorn uh, within this? What do we get? Do all things in moderation, all right? Don't overexert yourself in any sort of way. Do it all things in moderation is going to be key. Everything. And then it wants you to reach for the stars, right? Reach for the stars, guys, all right? It's some sort of new beginning. Now, this could be a new job. This could be, you know, just in life, you've gone through some sort of cycle, you know, and this is a, an opportunity for to do what it is that your heart desires, all right? So reaching for the stars. That yellow is all about, um, you know, transformation and strength in the abdominal area. And so it's really like that power and strengthening um, your, your nervous and digestive system as well. So it's, you know, kind of health related stuff, but it could be something of that. So that is your full moon message, guys. Let's take a look at your rest of the week that, uh, um, you know, and this is going to play out per perhaps, you know, for the rest of the week too, I believe. Uh, and then let's take a look at the rest of the week. What's coming through for you here. We get the four of wands. All right. So the four of wands comes through and then, uh, we also get, uh, what else? Uh, we've got the, uh, death card. Well, you know, the death card came out in reversal. I guess I'll take it that way. Typically, I just kind of like to read them straight up, but there is something about a stability that uh, keeps something from coming to an end. So maybe perhaps some sort of stability comes in. There is a wreath of success that comes in that it looks like. It's powerful, guys. It is about stability and security, and it, it, it brings forth you know, some sort of, uh, something that would have came to an end doesn't come to an end. So this could be a message of a situation of some sorts. Fourth house, again, psychological foundation. Uh, so a different way of thinking or being, uh, uh, any sort of pattern that brings forth stability has shifted and, and keeps you, uh, from something going away. Now this could be a person, place, or thing. Maybe stability comes into play. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, some sort of opportunity. Uh, it does have to do with your roots and heritage, okay? So it could be finding stability within a family situation, right? Um, without, you know, it, it, it's the, the death is in reverse. So let me get a card on that um, because the death card really has to focus in uh, mostly on with that scorpionic energy, okay? So uh, you might have scorpion in your chart. And this is fire energy coming through. Give me a card for that. Queen of swords. So there is power, victory, and clarity over something over something that almost came to an end, but finds its stability. So in this week, you're gonna find that, guys. There is some sort of victory and stability, uh, air energy, okay? Could be dealing with the air sign, all right? So give me a card on this air sign from the soul trees, and we'll see what wants to reveal itself. Oh, this just <laughs> keeps flipping out. Believe, it wants you to believe, all right? So we get a sense of something wanting to believe in matters of the heart, there's some sort of communication in matters of the heart that blooms something. So it could be at, at the last moment, something really comes in and creates a significant change. All right. Uh, anything else for you that wants to shine through? What do we get? Confidence. The confidence shines through. And this is why I brought that up, guys, because I was getting that when I got, you know, kind of like when you were, when it said, you know, reach for the stars, that comes from your solar plexus energy. That's that yellow. So it's also about, you know, uh, reaching for the stars, going for what you want and having the confidence and knowing that you're going to get it. All right. And this is, you know, you kind of got the confidence. You got the throat chakra, that, that turquoise that's coming through. Uh, that is really is a symbol is uh, symbolizes communication and then you've got the the like this magenta that's coming through here a little bit and that is uh it's like all about um what's the word it's about overcoming um it, it's overcoming like a depression of some sort so maybe there's some sort of communication of matters of the heart that overcomes some sort of anxiety i don't know guys for some of you that could be the case all right 
Um, yeah, because it, 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 it yeah, it, it really focuses in on that. It has something to do with that. Wow. All right. So, well, that's coming through here. And then anything else that wants to reveal itself for you, let's, um, take a look from the divine energy that wants to shine through for the week. All right. Well, whatever it is, you're going to get the clarity that you need. It brings forth stability. All right. Uh, I do get grieve your losses and face your shadow. So I think some of you are ridding of, uh, you're, you had to see the shadow side so you could get the power, victory, and clarity of, uh, you know, in, 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 in the stability uh, of a situation, right? You had to seek that, so, uh, you had to grieve your losses and face your shadows so you can move on confidently and believe and move forward. And that's what reversed the old way of thinking, right? That's what reversed this death card here um, because you've changed a shift in a mindset. And congrats, guys. Note your comments. Let me know if this resonates with you. And let's take a look at the final advice, what your, your highest self wants you to know. And this is coming in for this week. That's going to be very important and affect all areas of your life. Let's take a look at what that divine wisdom has to say for you here. What is that? And what do we get? Oh, my gosh, you guys. We get now. It doesn't matter if, you know, what gender that you are. All right. This is shining through. And it, so the main thing that this says is that I get the card of beauty. Oh, look at that, guys. So I think the universe wants to remind you of just how beautiful that you really are. And it's it's key. It's a 58 card, reducing to a 13, then reducing to a four. So this has to do with your psychological foundation. It has to do with your, your subconscious patterns. So I think that we've already covered that, but this reducing to a four tells me that there is a sense of stability that is finally coming into play. And it does have to do with your roots and heritage, okay? It has to do with that. Now, there again, there could be a situation that you're dealing with, okay, within the family that might have to do with something like that. But it is all about shining through, like the divine feminine energy. You're honoring your beauty and the abundant creativity in you, all right? You're, you could be, this is the card brings the past is, is to comfort yourself that you're being, uh, you're being guided to heal uh, wounds about your appearance and your body and, and, and yourself and, 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 to, and to share uh, your, your deeper self in a more honest way without self-criticism. And, and you're, you, what you're not doing is you're not being the victim of others' projected uh, you know, outlook on you. You know, whatever that is, you're not becoming the victim of that, okay? Love is what is going to be key. Love is what's necessary in a situation. And that brings forth, uh, you know, not, not shame, but more about love. And this is about cultivating yourself in the blanket of love. The blue is that calmness, right? It is all about stimulating uh, that pituitary gland, which is all about calmness, right? So um, that is super, super key, all right? Um, and so that's what's coming into play. So get yourself, maybe around water or you know, be around, you know, whatever that case may be. But it is your ability to love and accept yourself more than you ever have before, all right? And I'm sending you so much love here, guys, that you're being awakened by your own beauty and you don't have to change to be beautiful. You need to just be in your beauty and be in that, ex be that exquisite flower that is uh, here to bloom and so it is, okay? And you're awakening to your beauty. So this is what I'm getting, guys. So note your comments, like, and subscribe. I'm sending you so much love and light uh, to the beautiful you. And until next time, namaste.